Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining us again. Um, this is going to be going into um, practice two that we were just talking about, about taking, um, creating core values and becoming assertive and decisive. Um, one of the biggest things that I just have to say um, about this core, about this practice and, and how you can easily implement it into your life is that um, creating your core values, if, and by watching the first video, which I encourage you to do, um, you remember what we talked about when we said what is a core value um, and also as far as becoming just um, becoming a sort of decisive women and men this is not you know this is general neutral, neutral gender neutral completely being decisive being decisive is something that a lot of women a lot of people are not nowadays I feel like people have developed a spirit of complacency that is it, it's chronic and it's a crime it's the biggest crime out there um, being complacent and, and how people are also not very decisive people do not um, stick to what it is that their grounds are people are not stern in, in what it is that they believe in and what their belief systems are they're incredibly wishy washy and the thing is is no you, you need to stand for something if, if you have made a decision that you want to become an entrepreneur and that is going to be your life path you need to be assertive and make that decision and stand in it so that you can continue to let that sink inside of you and then you can move forward in that but if you're wishy-washy you're like yeah you know I really might want to start my own business but you know, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. That's being wishy-washy. That is not being decided. So you have to be very strict with your mind in order to get out of things that, that you want. And another thing is that you need to create these belief systems that feel good to you. They do not have to be AK realistic. Realistic is something for me that it, it, that is like my buzzword. That is, that is my buzzword. And I hate hearing the, the expression of being realistic because you create your own reality and the, the fact of the matter is is that beauty is in the eye of the beholder it's just the same as reality is in the eye of the beholder because each of us create our own reality so with that being said you need to create a belief system that you want and another thing as far as moving forward in your life how could anybody take a step forward if all they're doing is staring at their feet you know what I mean I, I'm hoping that I'm making this connection with you um, so the fact of the matter is is that you do create your own your own reality and it does stem from your core values and your belief systems and we just talked about it as in um, practice one that whatever your belief system your core value is is going to have your attention and your focus so if you are aspiring and wanting a new focus in your life then you really have to be just um, very assertive with with your life because you know that only you are the only person that can manifest it and with that being said moving forward is something that is incredibly and moving forward assertively is something that you need to do to shorten that time of getting what it is that you want to manifest it's how direct you are with it and that makes a whole lot of sense because how is a project going to get done whether you give it to a person or you give it to the universe if you're not communicating it properly so I think that's something that um we can all really relate to. A second um, leg to add to practice two is to stop creating desire, stop creating desires that open doors and then belief systems that close them. It is all too often that women and people create these desires, they have these ambitions and they have these dreams and then they have a belief system that of they can't that, that stems in the root of fear and then they can no longer move forward with the desire because the desire was cut and nipped in the bud by a fear-based belief system. And that also, again, is a chronic universal crime that needs to be, it needs to be put to death immediately because that's truly the definition of somebody getting in their own way. And um, that is, that's something that's really profound what I just said. You know, you need to follow through with the desire that you have and you need not to then create a contradicting belief system or you need not to allow a previous contradicting belief system that you have to stop you getting to your dream life, okay? Um, so that is, that goes, that is all a part of two. And then going into three is cre develop and train your mind to deserve better. Now, for some people, they're unaware of what deserving better is because they have no experience. It could be their life experiences that limit them from being able to know what deserving better is. 
But if that is your situation, then you are now, you're, you're now, you are now, you have that responsibility now to the, learn what better is. Because what you do have to off, what you do have to work from is, is what you have right now, what you don't want. You, you have the ability to know what it is that you don't want. So take that. So say that you, um, say you live in a certain state. You know, say you live in a certain state and, and you want to be in a better state that has more opportunity. That's what you want. You want more opportunity. So you deserve better opportunities. So with that being said, you, you can Google. You can Google things like which state have the best opportunities for the field that it is that you want to be in. And that's where you start, okay? And, and also, talking a little bit about what we said before, you cannot be complacent. There is a spirit of complacency that lies in the hearts of so many people and it is the it is it is the single and only character trait that creates stagnancy and in people and in dreams and in lives and it's it's being complacent too often we persist and remember going forward and in an opposition of what makes us happy or you know what really fulfills us um we persist to believe and deal with things and accept things that offer us no value and are no good to us However, we have the spirit of complacency that at least we do have this. At least this. At least this. No, no, no. That is a horrible, horrible mindset to have. You do. It's. I mean, there is value in appreciating what is your current, but to be complacent is detrimental to who you are. And so that that is something you have to learn to train yourself to deserve better. And you can by making yourself learn something, just like anything else, you have to practice it. You have to practice saying, I deserve better. You have to practice feeling and knowing and believing that you deserve better, no matter what it is in your life. It can be something incredibly small, as you deserve better service when you go to certain restaurants, or you deserve a better relationship, so you need to get into a different marriage. Uh, depending on what spectrum you are, do not um, develop the spirit of complacency and deserve and train your mind to deserve, um, I mean develop and train your mind to deserve better. And then, so finally, the final practice, the fourth practice, is to create belief systems. They don't have to seem realistic. Remember what a belief system is, but then create this belief system and attach the emotional vibrational frequency of love to it and fall in love with the belief system that it is that you want, okay? Why do I say fall in love with it? Love is the highest vibration that is available to all of us. And if I was to take that froofy talk and to put it into something a little more tangible, love is the strongest rope to pull something into reality. Love is the vibrational frequency that pulls things into reality. The, 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 the more that you love something, the more that you want something, the more that of that happiness, grateful, joyful feeling, that, that high feeling that you put to something, that is the, the fastest way that you are going to get it. So when I tell you, if you want a particular belief system, if you want a particular thing, whether it be non-physical or physical, a character, a man, a purse, a this or that, you need to fall in love with the fact that you already have it, and then you can watch it um, come into your life. And nothing could break that connection if you fall in love with something. If you fall in love with being a manager, it will be yours. So I thank you guys so very much for watching this. Um, this has meant so much to me. I ask you to share this. I ask you to like this. I ask you to tag people in it. And um, I hope this offered you. I know this offered you a lot of value. And I appreciate your time for watching this. So I love you. And 